right, it's Glenda, and today I'm making a purple soap. So come along. For fragrance, I will be using black raspberry and vanilla because it is a very well behaved fragrance and also it's well received. I am measuring the colors right now. The first is black pearl, which I will be using for contrast. And then I will also be using some neon pigments like neon purple. I will be mixing this neon purple with neon blue. They're both from Nurture, Nurture Soap because I want one of the purples to be more like a royal or indigo purple. And I find that the neon colorant tends to be by itself, it leans more towards fuchsia. As a mold, I will be using a Pringle skin and I will be using a funnel to pour the soap through it. Here is the full screen disc that I made. It sort of resembles a sunflower, but I think it's just going to look like a flower in the end. Now, this is the first time that I will be using or that I will be attempting the pool screen disc in a round mold. Now, I have shown videos of me using round discs with pool screens before. However, this video is of the very first time that I attempted it and I just had not published it before. I had uh, put some wire in it. This is all stainless steel wire, just different thicknesses, so that I was going to be able in the end to pull it up. The oils are at 96 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius, and this is the light water solution that was at room temperature, which on this date it was 77 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius. I'm going to add the light water solution to the oils and I'm going to stir it for about a minute. I want the soap butter to stay fluid for as long as possible. So initially I don't want to use this thick blender right away. I just want to use the spatula. Then when I do use the stick blender, I'm only going to use it for a few seconds, maybe three to five seconds at a time and then I'm going to stir it in in between and because of the low temperatures and because I was going very slowly with the stick blender it took me about three minutes to reach a motion phase. Now it's time to add the fragrance and I'm going to stir it in and after that I'm going to divide the soap butter in the different containers that I have ready to color it. Yes, and this is the portion that hasn't been colored. It's also a trace. So it looks like we're ready to pour. Alright, so I'm done pouring and I've noticed something that this seems to have tilted that way. So I don't know if that's going to affect the design. Anyway, now it's time to pull the screen, hopefully still attached. It doesn't look much different there, but 
when I cut it I'll see if there is a design or not right now it just looks very dark all right so I think it's been three days since I made this I'm not sure I put it in the freezer because it was still it was feeling a little bit soft still so I figure if it's if at least the outside is frozen it'll be easier to remove I'm guessing I have to peel this off I don't know how else you remove this I don't think it just comes out so it looks like this has some plastic it seems to be coming off nice this is what it looks like and since I did put it in the freezer it's probably I'm not gonna cut it yet I'm gonna let it air out so that's gonna thaw out and then I'll cut it I'm nervous oh it worked that's nice <laughs> that's just like I've seen Everybody else's pictures, yay! I think this is when I was... Remember I told you how the um, funnel had tilted? So it looks like when it tilted, some of the color was, instead of getting in the center and evening out, it was just going to the side and that's probably what happened there but anyway this is it I'm happy with it oh those last ones are cool like I really like them I'm guessing because this is when I was finishing so my pores were shorter like I was pouring less so it create more layers so I should remember that if I want this kind of detail. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.